But Lauren, you should leave that church as soon as you can. I understand. The church has secrets. Yeah, I've been known that since episode one. We're back again to play some games. We're back with Havenless. And last time we did a uh, night watch. Was it a night watch? A night watch with um Shane. All I remember is Shane. I don't remember anything else. <laughs> So before we start, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow me on all my social media. It's always in the description below, and we could get started. Yeah, Shane is high. Very high. And we got this picture last time. Ambush. Today I ended up going off patrol with Shane, of course. What are you thinking about with such a serious face? Uh, it's just that back then... But before I could finish the sentence, I heard something approach us from behind. Samantha. I turned around to look, and our eyes met as I stretched my hand out towards it. A soldier. Ah, phew. You guys really scared the life out of me. We were pretty surprised too, you know. I'm sorry for scaring you. I'm just happy to see some living in these quiet streets. Lauren, your hand. I'm pretty sure he doesn't mean give my hand to him, but I'm going to say give my hand to Shane. Want me to give you my hand? No, that's not what. I knew you want me to put my hand back, but I, I decided to playfully put my hand in Shane's instead. What? What's up with that expression? Nothing. Nothing at all. Are you guys a couple or something? Th that's not it. The soldier cleared his throat and proceeded to introduce himself. My name is Matt. What's good, Matt? I have been assigned to this district from Citizen Protection Area R12. This is my identification. Is there a difference between the Citizen Protection Area and the Unaffected Safe Zone? There were quite a few complaints about the phrase unaffected, you see. So we have to work on coming up with a more non-problematic name, changing all the signs in the same go. I can't believe people actually care about trivial things like that in a time like this. But what are you doing here? This area is scheduled to get shut down. I'm just sweeping the area for any survivors. Are there even any roads left? Last time we heard, most of them were already closed. Yeah, there are still a couple roads still open. Matt handed us a map each. The multiple red crosses must mean closed. Seeing the close street made me think back to when I was with Lance. I swear, this way is closed off too. Lance, you told me you were sure it was this way. It was, at least a couple of minutes ago. I checked the roads that were about to get closed off. What is going on? Are you sure you didn't mistake this way for some somewhere else? I'll have you know there's nothing wrong with my memory. So, we have to find another way? Um, this is taking longer than I anticipated. Well, I guess it's no use complaining. You're stuck with me, right? Everywhere we went after that ended up being closed off. Matt looked a bit embarrassed as he scoffed. To tell you the truth, the people in the safe zone keep urging us to close the streets quicker. Even though they themselves are already safe, doesn't that suck? I agree. Yes, that really sucks. They don't care about no they only care about themselves. They really just care about their own safety. Lauren, stop it. Stop what? It's true. Is it because our parents are there? That's not it. Anyways, I'll show you the way. Let's get to the safe zone before death. Uh wait. But it would be a hassle if we arrived late, you know. What's the matter? There's this place where a group of survivors are living. A place where people are living outside the safe zone? That can't be. Could you please show me there? Uh, no. Should I get back and report it first? We were recently invited there ourselves. If we're bringing you there, I think we need to ask for permission first. Ah, of course. It wouldn't be polite to just barge in without a proper invitation. 
Now I would most likely get in trouble if I didn't return to the safe zone in time today. Um, I still doubt they'd just refuse you. Let's meet again tomorrow around here. Matt looked back at us a couple times, waving while he returned. We should be on our way too, Shane. Yeah, Lily's probably waiting for us. A few moments later, we were stopped in our tracks as soon as we entered the lobby. Mary, why you- You know what? Mary, go have a good day. Go have a good day, Mary. You younglings again. Get out of my way. Uh. Not wanting to hear any more abuse from her, I stepped aside and pulled Shane out of the way. Mary glared angrily at us, angrily at us as she walked outside, tightly holding her bag. She keeps... Let's laugh it off. It's fine. You don't have to react like that. But still. Anyway, let's go see John. I don't want to talk to John. Let's not tell John what's going on. Let's keep it to ourselves. But we're stopped again before we could take a single step. Who the heck are you? There you are. Huh? Are you talking to me? Samantha asked me to tell you. She's waiting for you up on the roof. Okay, okay. So I should go up to the roof right now? Yes, she should be there waiting for you. The resident bowed down before leaving. I looked up at Shane. He was raising an eyebrow. The roof, all of a sudden? Strange. I actually just wants to enjoy the view together with you. I have a feeling. I think I know what she wants. Uh, don't tell me. Right now, it most likely she wants to ask me about what she saw that day. But it might be something else. Don't worry too much in advance. Hmm, I guess you're right. Her feelings towards me will most likely change if she finds out I'm infected. I'm a bit worried. After a couple deep breaths, I headed towards the stairway with Shane following close behind. What, are you going to follow me all the way? Are you saying you plan to go alone? I don't mind, but I'm not sure what Samantha will think. I end up walking up to the roof with Shane in tow. As soon as I opened the door, I was met with a desolated view. And Samantha is... over there. I looked over to where Shane was pointing and noticed Samantha sitting in a long wooden chair. Um... You look really nervous. Are you alright? It's a bit scary, but I need to talk to her. Just be like usual. You're better off when you act natural. That sounds like the thing I'm best at. I held my breath as I walked closer and Samantha looked around. Shane stopped first behind me and I stopped shortly afterwards, a reasonable distance away from her. Welcome back, Lauren. You're, earl you're here earlier than I expected. Um, well... Did you miss me? You miss me, right? I can see it in your face. I'm glad you noticed without me telling you. How should I put it? It feels like I strange I'm strangely pulled towards you. Uh, do you mean flustered? I hesitate briefly before collecting myself. Samantha, there's something I want to tell you first. I'm sorry for running off like that. Uh you surprised me quite a bit. It's fine. Things like that happen. Anyways. Samantha got up from the chair, turned around, and smiled at me. And, oh? I realized too late that the situation had gotten weird. Uh, what'd you do? Samantha? Did you do something to me? Lauren! Golly! Samantha? Okay. Chill, Samantha, chill. Don't move a muscle. You're both in shooting distance. 
heard the cold sound of someone pulling back the slide of a pistol. When I got back to my senses, Samantha had tackled me to the ground and I was sitting on top of, and was sitting on top of me. She was aiming her gun towards Shane, who was running towards me. My goodness, Samantha. I thought we were cool. Can we just talk it out? Chapter 10. Can we just talk this out, Samantha, please? Let's just talk. Do not shoot Shane, please. That's my, uh, that's my ride or die right there. Shane didn't seem to care about Samantha's warning. But on the other hand, it didn't seem like it was empty words. Her gun might have been loaded. Stay where you are, Shane. It's okay. Just wait. But... Listen to me. You can do that, right? Uh. Shane pressed his lips together in a clearly dissatisfied manner, but did as I said. Feeling the cold, hard floor against my back, I looked up at Samantha. Lauren, you. You're really infected. It seems you're completely sure, huh? Am I right? I don't know. Should I deny it? Admit it? Hmm. I feel like I should deny it, you know, because I could. I think I could still fake it. I could say I just had a sudden attack or something. I don't know. Like I felt sick. I had to go throw up. I was having a breakdown. Something. I, I could. I could lie. I could, I could finesse it. I could finesse it. Deny it. Lance likes it when I. Uh, I'm untruthful. I'm just a bad person. I'm. Yeah. I shouldn't have said that. I should just admit it. No, you've got it wrong. Then what do you have to say about those symptoms I saw? I have a chronic illness. I haven't told you about. Sometimes I get episodes like that. I guess. Who would believe an infected walking around like a normal human being? But you see, I've seen more than a fair share of people turning. What are you trying to say? If you're trying to brush this off by lying to me, it might come up, come and bite you in the ass later. Her gun was still aimed straight at Shane. Alright. I give up. I don't think you figured I didn't think you figured it out right away. While waiting, I kept wondering about what would be the best way to do this. No matter how infected you are, I want to treat you with the respect any human deserves. That's nice of you. Even though this world makes that difficult. Don't you agree? It's better to die a human than turn into a monster wandering the streets. How would you say that even though you don't know how she feels? What she's... What? Would you feel the same? If it was someone you met in the streets? Then I felt the pressure on my chest increase suddenly. Ugh. And if you were here invited by Father John, that's a different story. In some cases, a comfortable death is quite the luxury. Lauren! I tried to push Samantha off, but for some reason I couldn't muster enough strength. And even if I was to succeed, she could have shot Shane. Lauren, are you part of the Church Salvation, or are you from some other group? Church of Salvation? It'd be wise to answer me before I blow your head out. When we first met, now I see why your reaction was so strange to hearing me mention John. At that moment, I remember what Noah had told me. I'm not sure if it's okay for me to say this, but Lauren, you should leave that church as soon as you can. I understand. The church has secrets. Yeah, I've been known that since episode one. Samantha, I know you have no choice but to distrust me right now. It's just horrible to have an affected whom you don't know where they came from tell you that they're safe. Why are you saying that? Who's saying you are horrible? Calm him down. Sorry. I didn't mean it like that. You didn't? You say that, but you're always... You really seem like a different person whenever Lauren is involved, Shane. What do you... You're imagining things. I am infected. But as you can see, I live an ordinary life like everyone else. Even though sometimes I show symptoms that I lose my mind. 
but she hasn't hurt or affected anyone else. I have no idea what to make of this. How is that even? Without finishing her sentence, Samantha shook her head lightly. Lightly. Anyway, I want you to answer my questions. Who are you really? How much do you know? I... No. We don't really know anything. What is going on in this place? On this street, there was a church working day and night to help people. This street, or the things that went on behind doors we don't know anything about. Samantha, do you need our help? Do I need your help? Why would you? She lowered her gun and let her go of her arm holding me down. Her eyes shook and she looked down at me with a confused look. The next day, early morning, the second floor corridor was filled with people waiting to attend morning mass. Lauren, I'm sleepy. You must be tired, huh? Come give me a hug. Hmm. I guess they at least show us something fun. Do you think mass is some kind of a show? Well, I know it's not actually a show. But if we're lucky, something even more spectacular might happen. How do you keep saying such ominous things so comfortably? I didn't expect so many people to actually go to morning mass. There are apparently lots of people who don't go, too. We were talking amongst ourselves when we were approached by two people. Okay, first of all, this girl is the, the, um, the robot that we killed in, um, Mem Mayday Memory. <laughs> That's exactly her, except a different color scheme. Good morning. The Lord welcomes you all. Is your first time visiting our prayer room, no? Uh, yes. What about it? Here, take one each. The... I don't know that word. Handed us each a piece of candy about the size of a thumbnail. What's this? It is commu communion. Prepare specifically for this occasion. We hand these out weekly. I thought back to when Samantha had told us on the roof. This candy is suspicious. I'm not eating it. I thought back what Samantha had told us on the roof. A piece of advice. Be suspicious of everything. Even if it seems normal, you can't trust anything. I'm not eating this candy. I wasn't going to do it anyway. I just... Looked like regular candy, but I couldn't help but feel put off after thinking about what she had told me. Let's borrow. I looked around the room and discovered a small pouch in the corner. It looked fine until I grabbed it, noticing it was really uncomfortable to hold. Ugh, still. I guess it's better than nothing. I held my candy in my hand, waiting for the right moment before putting it inside the pouch. Shane got rid of his too without drawing any suspicion and- Oh no. Please tell me you took it away from, um, uh, we need to- We need to get it away from, um... What, what's her name? Lily. <laughs> I want to call her Lucy so bad. Lily, don't eat that. Huh? Why? It's so soft and wiggly. I'll give you even wiggler- I'll give you even wiggler- I will give you even wiggler, wiggle it, wig. <laughs> I will give you even wigglier candy later. Lance, give me yours too. Oh man, I can't even keep it as a souvenir. Good morning, everyone. Did you have a pleasant evening? He's here. John entered the room to the favorite chairs of the other churchgoers. Shane, bring Lily and find some place to sit. What about you? I want to ask John about that thing. By yourself? Keep an eye on the others. Yeah, so please take care of Lily for me. I don't really like you going off by yourself, but I guess I can't stop you. Thank you. I hope you can understand. Anyway, just don't get yourself in, in danger. I can't take my eyes off you, since I don't know... When you'll run off somewhere. <sighs> alright, alright. After claiming sh calming Shane down, I slowly made my way over to John. 
It's so good to see you here. I pray you'd be joining us for Mass. John, do you have a moment before the Mass begins? Of course. I always welcome questions, if that's what you want. Lauren, we're gonna go find somewhere for us to sit. Lauren, you'll be quick, right? See you soon. Yeah, go find us good seats. Shane grabbed Lily's hand and walked further into the room, and I glanced to my side. But Lance, why are you not going with them? Fear if I kept him being lonely. Ignore him. Of course he liked that. Let's go over there, John. That sounds great. I swear, aren't you ignoring me a bit too naturally? Do I have to be a bit more like Mr. Shane to get you to look at me? What are you even talking about? John brought me over to the corner of the room and Lance followed us like a shadow. Over here, the others won't mind us. Actually, there's something I want to ask you. Ah, if so, feel free to ask me anything. Yeah, don't mind me. I'm fine by myself. What the? You really... Almost bursting out in laughter, I collected myself and looked at John. John, do you know about the safe zone? Okay, we're done. So, this episode... Samantha does not play. She'll pull the gun out on you real fast. <laughs> Don't mess with Samantha. Um, Some of the options I picked, I wish I had it because they raised my uh, intimacy with uh, Lance. I do not trust John. At all. And good thing we didn't eat those candies. I mean, I was going to eat it anyway, but you know. So thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on my social media. It's always in the description below. And I will see you guys next time. Maybe. Maybe not. Probably. Probably not. Definitely. Yes. Bye-bye.